What is going on guys? So today we're going to cover a pretty specific topic and that is the facial hair and hair grooming standards for soldiers in the United States Army. So I don't normally like doing these types of videos where I kind of just go off of the army regulations and stuff like that because you guys, if you want to, if you really want to get after it, you can look up the army regulations and stuff yourself. So if you have a question about something that's army regulated standard, can you do this? A lot of times you can just look up that on Google or whatever, but I get this question so much because people know that I'm in the army currently and they're like, why the heck have you not shaved? Because for me, like right now, it's been about two days since I've shaved. By the way, you know, I'm a little bit sunburned right now, so pardon my sunburn. Uh, I was outside for a long time playing golf and I'm, I'm a little bit red. But anyways, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, hey, why the heck have you not shaved? And usually I'm just like, you know, I'm not on duty and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But in this video, I'm going to quickly go over why I don't shave and why it's okay. And then, you know, kind of more of the standards as far as the, the hitting the main points for the male standards and then hitting a few of the main points for the female hair and grooming standards. Now the first thing, why don't I shave all the time? Like you guys see me in my videos, I got this little like, I don't know what you call it, a goatee kind of thing. You know, normally I'll just shave kind of my side right here, but it's been about two days. Why don't I shave? The standard is in AR 670-1 section 3-2, and it's not that I really rememorized that, it's just I saw that, you know, just a few seconds ago. But the standard is basically if you are in uniform, and or you are in civilian clothes on duty, you have to be clean shaved, you have to be upholding the grooming standard. So if you are not on duty and if you are not in uniform, that means you don't have to shave. That means, you know, if you wanna let your hair grow out a little bit, it's gonna be okay. But as soon as you put on that uniform, you need to be shaved. You need to have your hair standards up to up to snuff of the standards and that's there's really no and if or buts about that the only time that this isn't there's an exception to this rule is if you have some kind of profile so let's say you're a male who shaves and you get really bad razor bumps or let's say you know you're having some kind of hair issue you can get a profile and a profile means that basically you'll be able to have a little bit of facial hair so for me right now i don't know it's like less than an eighth of an inch right of facial hair so i could use some kind of like electric razor thing because you know and then and then get not a closer shave that would give me razor bumps and that would be then okay but make sure you have your profile on you at all times it's gonna be some kind of piece of paper from a doctor saying that you can have that but that's the only exception right that's the only exception if you're in uniform if you see somebody with facial hair in uniform it probably just means that they have a profile if they're a male it probably means that they get really bad razor bumps whenever they do shave so they don't have to now real quick some of the main points for the male grooming standards right so for the facial hair right if you have sideburns it cannot go past this little this little lobe right here in the middle of your ear so the bottom of that not the ear lobe at the bottom but the bottom kind of right here i'm trying to look at the the camera but basically you can't have your sideburns go below that when you are also in uniform and on duty so if i ever talk about standards it's in uniform or on duty that is when all these standards come into play so that's how your your sideburns go if you're not on duty you can go a little bit lower that's okay when you're at basic training though you're gonna have to cut your hair up to here right so like right at the the top of your ear you're gonna have to shave all the way all the way up here so that's kind of not that fun because you don't normally do that if you're a male there's two big points that I want to hit for the male standard and that is you have to have a tapered appearance and if you with the with the top of your hair it can't go past your eyebrows right so you can kind of have longish hair on the top of your head but it can't touch your ears so if your hair kind of falls all the way over it can't touch your ears or on the side of your head it can't really touch your ears and then it can't go past your eyebrows then you have to have a tapered appearance. What a tapered appearance means is it's basically just a fade. So if you're talking about like, I don't know, grooming, like you're getting your hair cut, it'll be like a zero, one, two, and then kind of just long hair on the top. You have to have a fade. A lot of people will do this thing where they basically have a zero cut all the way up to the top and then it's long, right? So that means that there's no fade whatsoever. It just goes from a zero to like, however long your hair is, like a zero to a four, for example. There's no there's no sort of fade there. And then the parting is kind of one of the tricky parts, right? Where in the regulations it says that you can have a natural part and if you are a person that doesn't have a natural part, then you can cut a part into your hair 
but on one side where the natural part would be. So that's kind of a little gray area there with the whole, you know, kind of cutting apart into your hair. But for the most part, just having your hair tapered without it going from zero to 100, you know, on top and then uh, keeping up with the, the standards to where your hair, your bangs and stuff can't go past your eyebrows and it can't touch your ears. Those are the main points. And then something that I want to say for in general for this video is a lot of this and it even says it in the regulations that is up to your leadership's interpretation of the rules on whether or not something is acceptable or not acceptable. So if they're talking about a fade, some people might have a shorter fade. If they do a high fade and it's just a zero all the way up and then it's like a one and then a, a whatever they have on top, that's gonna be a high fade. You know, you might have some leadership that was like, nope, there's no fade there. That's not a tapered appearance and they're gonna get all mad at you or whatever, or they'll just tell you to, to fix it, right? Uh, there's gonna be some people who have longer hair on top. You know, if you go to different units around the army, you're gonna see people who are in specific units where it's a lot more lenient as far as the grooming standards, as far as like how long your hair can be. So that's kind of one little thing. So it's up to the leadership. I remember whenever I was at AIT, we had to get our hair cut like every single week where it doesn't say in AR670-1 that you have to get your hair cut every week but you know we were abiding by the standards like if you go two weeks I get my hair cut about every two weeks now but let's say I were to do that in AIT there was this one platoon sergeant he would always get pissed off at everybody if you just went you know maybe like two days past what he thought was okay for the grooming standards. The last few things that I want to say for the male standards is number one, and this kind of applies to the females too, you can't dye your hair a color that is different from your natural hair color. So I guess if you want to change it just a slightly a little bit, or maybe you have blonde hair. I have like a dirtiest blonde hair. If I wanted to, I don't know, make that come out more or something, I guess I could do that. But you can't dye it purple, you can't get highlights, you can't do red, like you can't do anything that is different from your natural hair color and that applies for both males and females. And then for males, you are not authorized to wear braids, cornrows, twists, dreadlocks, or locks in your uniform or in civilian clothes on duty. And you also can't wear a wig if you're a male. All right, now real quickly, hitting on the female hair standards for the military. It is categorized into three different categories. So you got short hair length, medium hair length, and long hair length. Short hair length for females means that your hair is shorter than an inch. Medium hair length means that your hair is a inch or just above your shoulders. So for the short hair length, really the only thing you gotta watch out for is number one, you can kind of have a fade and all that stuff if you want to like a male, if you're kind of one of those females that wants to that wants to do that. But the only thing you gotta watch out for is the hair length going past your eyebrows. Now, if you go from a short hair length to a medium hair length, I'm kind of curious how that's gonna go. Like, I'm, I, I, I guess that's kind of like a gray hair if you're, try, if you're a female with short hair, but you're trying to grow your hair out, it's kind of like, a gray area like when do you kind of switch over to where it's okay for your hair to pass your eyebrows i'm not really sure about that but that's what it says here that's one of those gray areas where i guess leadership is going to have to take a role in that the medium length where it goes it just goes right here so you can have longer hair the big thing to note here is you don't have to put it up in a bun which you will have to do for the long hair length right so you can kind of just let it hang naturally you can put on your pc you can do whatever that's going to be, you know, probably a very simple hairstyle thing for you to do. Obviously, you don't want it to look like trash and you want to still brush it and everything. But the big thing is you don't have to put it into a bun. And it says that no portion of the bulk of the hair as measured from the scalp will exceed two inches. So it can't go off of your scalp two inches. And now I'm going to read this one for the long hair length. And it says that long hair length is defined as hair length that extends beyond the lower edge of the collar. Long hair will be neatly and inconspicuously fastened or pinned above the lower edge of the collar, except when worn in accordance with uh, paragraph 3-2, blah, 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 blah. No portion of the bulk of the hair as measured on the scalp will exceed two inches like the medium hair length people. And the only part that can exceed two inches is the bun. So if you're female, you have a bun, the maximum that your bun can extend outwards is three and a half inches, right? So you will have to have a bun and it can't be like freaking super long. So if you have really long hair as a female, you're probably gonna have to cut at least a little bit shorter so that the bun can be like within the standards of that three and a half inches. Otherwise, you just throw it up into a bun you're gonna be good to go. 
So now if you're a female and you have some other kind of, you know, different hairstyle that you want to do, like a wig or hair extensions, those two things are authorized. But there's a lot of stuff for the females. So if you guys want to check that out, if you have some specific thing, link is in the description for the army regulations on that and you can kind of look at the female standards but holy crap that was a long video for just covering the hair and the facial hair standards or whatever so if you guys have made it to the end of this video i'm assuming if you are male you probably didn't make it to this video if you are a female thank you for making it to the end of this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button that'd be awesome if you want to stick around some more videos to the subscribe button that would be even better follow me on instagram and snapchat social media links are right there. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you later. Drop.